take a look at data encryption. Data encryption transforms data called plain text or clear text into a scrambled form called ciphered text that cannot be read by others. The rules for encryption, known as encryption algorithm, determine how simple or complex the transformation process should be. The receiver then unscrambles the data by using the decryption key. One of the oldest encryption algorithms used by Julius Caesar is a simple substitution algorithm in which the letter in the original message is replaced by the letter three positions farther in the alphabet. A commonly used encryption protocol is Secure Sockets layer known as SSL, which manages transmission security on the internet. The next time you purchase an item online, notice that the HTTP in the browser address bar changes to HTTPS. You might also see a padlock icon in the status bar at the bottom to indicate that your information has been encrypted and hackers cannot intercept it. A more recent cryptographic protocol is Transparent Layer Security, or TLS which ensures data security and integrity over public networks such as the internet. Similar to SSL, TLS encrypts the network segment used for performing transactions. In addition to being encryption protocols, SSL and TLS have authentication features. As mentioned, encryption algorithms use a key to encrypt and decrypt data. The key's size varies from 32 bits to 168 bits, the longer the key, the harder the encryption is to break. A PKI, a public key infrastructure, enables users of a public network, such as the internet, to securely and privately exchange data through the use of a pair of keys, a public one and a private one. Asymmetric encryption uses two keys, a public key known to everyone and a private or secret key known to only one recipient. Each company conducting transactions or sending messages gets a private key and a public key. A company keeps its private key and publishes its public key for others to use. The symmetric encryption, also called secret key encryption, is the same key used to encrypt and decrypt the message. The sender and receiver must agree on a key and keep it. Advanced Encryption Standard, or AES, a symmetric encryption algorithm with a 56-bit key is the one used by the U.S. government. The problem with the symmetric encryption is that sharing the key over the internet can be difficult. Encryption can also be used to create digital signatures that authenticate sender's identities and verify the message or data has not been altered. When you send the encrypted message and a digital signature, the recipient has your public key and uses it to decrypt the message, and then uses the same algorithm that you did to hash the message and create another version of the message digest. Next, the recipient uses your public key to decrypt your digital signature and get the message digest you sent. The recipient then compares the two message digests. If they match, the message was not tampered with and this, it is the same one that you sent.